Sean. Hello, hello, and welcome. Uh, we're going to solve this problem together. But first, um, why don't you pause the video and give it a shot? So, what is the solution to the system of equations below? The system of equations is a collection of equations, and a solution is the x and y values that work not for just one equation, but both at the same time. So we could plug each of these in, but man, that would take a while. So here's a faster way. I noticed that 4y and negative 4y are opposites. So if I take these two equations, I'm going to write them out over here. Right, that's the first one. Here's the second one. And watch what happens. If I add these two, 3x's and 2x's is 5x. These two are opposites. They add to 0. Negative 2 plus negative 8, kind of scary, but it's just negative 10. 5 times something is negative 10. Hmm. Well, if I want to solve this, I divide both sides by 5. And x is just negative 2. Out of all of our choices, the only one that contains negative 2 is choice D, and that's our answer. But just to confirm that y is 1, if we plug in negative 2 to either equation, I'll plug into the second, it looks less scary. 2 times x, 2 times negative 2, minus 4 times y equals negative 8. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, minus 4y is negative 8. Solving for y, we add 4 to both sides, and negative 4y equals negative 4. Hmm, negative 4 times something is negative 4. What's that got to be? Well, if we divide both sides by negative 4, y equals 1, which is our answer here. So if you want to uh, actually check this out and see if it works in the other one, I encourage you to do that. Take x and y and plug into the first equation, and it should work. All right, thanks.